Hey guys, Aussie Reviews here on my review of Dana Arcadia boots. Now these boots are top quality boots made by Dana. Uh, their company is over in Portland, Oregon in the States. So uh, one of the few boots nowadays that are made in the USA and not made in China. A couple of reasons why I wanted to actually do the review on these boots is number one, we all know whether we're into uh, trekking or hiking or hunting whether we're from a military background or you know security law enforcement background, we know how important our feet are to us, and we got to uh, take good care of them. So, you know, having good boots is definitely a part of that. Number two, when you actually put in Danner Arcadia onto YouTube and look for some reviews on these boots, I personally didn't find a lot of the information that much more helpful than what you can read on their website anyway. Um, from what I saw anyway, there was definitely no reviews of boots being used out in the field. So what I want to do with these is uh, later on in this review, you'll see me getting out down to um, the creek and you know getting out amongst the water and in the mud and sand and things like that and actually see the boots, how they look on and, um, and, um, and see what they're like when they're, you know, walk through real life situations, um, not just sitting beside the box and someone just talking about it. Just to go into a little bit of uh, background about Dana, I won't you know bore you too much because as I said, you can read a lot of this on you know their website. So they've been bootmakers since 1932. The uh, Dana Arcadia boots are handcrafted and made, as I say, in the USA. They are an eight-inch high boot, um, which is quite good because I like that because it just gives that extra support around the ankle. Um, I have fallen a couple of times in the field when I have been you know wearing these boots. And I have to say, every time they did save me, I'm not saying that they're absolutely, you know, injury proof. I mean, anybody can get injured wearing any boot. But from my experience with them anyway, um, they were secure enough around the ankle, um, you know, for me not to get injured when I fell. The other thing about them is um, the difference in the laces in the two different models. Now, this one here is the Arcadia in the desert tan naturally and this one here is the Arcadia in the uh, black uniform. The desert tan has a speed lace system on it so if you have a look up the top of the boot here you can see the hooks as opposed to the uniform one which has just got the loops. So what happens here with the laces is once you just you put the um, boot on you just pull tight on the top of the laces and it will just secure the whole way down the boot just for a tight fit where when you have a look at the um, black uniform ones, it's just more traditional boot, so you've just got to uh, tighten them up as you normally would. If you pull up the top of the laces, you know not all the uh, laces will tighten up from the bottom up. When you actually um, take a look at one of these boots for the first time, me personally, I was, I was fairly impressed with the construction of them. Um, it is very high quality leather. Um, the stitching on it is really good quality too and just a general overall feel of the boot like it's it's not you know a super lightweight boot it's um it is a really sturdy construction these ones here that I've actually had them for about two years now and uh, I enjoy wearing them all the time when I'm out shooting and um, and just enjoying the outdoors to be honest um, they do have Gore-Tex in them, so what that does is it uh, makes the uh, boot waterproof. The same with the uh, uniform boot, um, the black one there, that's exactly the same. They both have Gore-Tex lining in them. So what it means is when you're actually out and you're walking through creeks and uh, you know water and things like that, um, you know it's going to protect you. It's waterproof. So you'll see later in this video, you'll see me submerge the boots up until the top part here and walk along in a creek and you'll see that there is no trick photography that my feet are still dry. One way they do this is if you have a look at the lip on these boots you'll notice there's no gap to the side of the lip that it's actually like all one um, compartment basically so when your foot goes in there and then the, you know you put the lip back and then secure the laces up it just I suppose um, you know gives that really good uh, compact feeling around the foot and um, not makes it airtight because as I say it can still breathe but I don't know how Dana do it, um, it it's definitely not um, airtight but it's waterproof so you know uh, kudos to them I mean they've, they've definitely done their homework with these boots um, the other thing that you'll notice is every one of their uh, Dana Arcadias has a Vibram sole 
Now, Vibram is a, is a military grade sole. It's designed there to um, give the best traction under all different uh, possible terrain. So, what more can you know say about that? They've definitely done their homework and got some quality there. Just a little bit of a story with these boots. When I first got my first pair seven years ago now, I actually got um, this particular uh, style, the uh, black uniform boot. I actually got it and I had heard all the hype about Dana and I thought, yeah, you know, you always hear hype and everything like that, but um, when you actually get a product, it might not live up to, um, you know, that hype. Well, in this case, I was definitely wrong. Um, I thought... One way to test these out is go for a run when I get the boot. Just pull it straight out of the box, uh, put them on, and go for a run, and then just see if my uh, feet blister up. Any of you from a uh, military background will know that um, usually when you get your first pair of issue boots and you go for a run, uh, a lot of the time until they wear in, you can have a few blisters and a few teething problems. Well, I can honestly say this doesn't happen with Dana. I put these boots on and I went for a 10K run, and at the end of that 10k, apart from being uh, tired from doing the run, I could not believe that I didn't have any blisters whatsoever on my feet. They really are that good quality. Price-wise with Dana, obviously being made uh, in the States, they're not cheap. Out here in Australia, you're looking at approximately $340. Um, seems to be the average sort of price for these boots, which is a lot of money. At the end of the day, though, you get what you pay for. They are absolute quality. Now, if you do want to buy them from the States, uh, the retail over there, I think, is about $289.95. You can find them a little bit cheaper. Um, if you have a look online, you might find them around $260 or somewhere like that. But just keep in mind, you're going to have to pay about $55 for postage to get them out here. So... Really, at the end of the day, you may, may not be saving that much money. Um, my advice is jump onto eBay. Uh, there's a lot of places over in the States that um, you know do sell these boots, and you can come across them at a um, discounted rate. Anyhow, uh, I'll just give you a quick look at these uniform, black uniform boots. As you can see, they're pretty much identical as the uh, desert ones, stitching in the middle there on the lip. Um, same, you know, uh, secure uh, feeling with the boot when you wear it. Um, these boots, as I say, brand new out of the box. So um, I'm going to definitely put them through their uh, paces and uh, test them out. We're going to walk through some water, some mud and things like that. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, here we are down at my local creek. Just... Uh putting on the desert banners. What I'll do is I'll just tuck my cargo pants in just so you can see the effect of how it is in the water. So I'll just uh, show you the speed lace system, just bring it in a bit. So once your feet go in here, you just simply just pull on the laces. You can see it all just tightens up. So now I'm standing in there like about six inches or so. And going a bit further, a bit further, and look at that, these boots can definitely handle it, so they just have a look at the boots there, see the water running off it, and so forth. When you take the danners off, it's best to grab both sides of the lip, just with your uh, thumb, four fingers, you can just shake like that, and the laces loosen right up. Okay, so... Look at that, you know, my feet are dry. As I say, there's definitely no trick photography in it. Like, and these aren't like waterproof socks or anything like that. Um, as you can see, my feet are completely dry. So ideal, you know, if you're camping or fishing or something like that, where you're going to be walking through creeks and you want a good comfortable boot that protects your feet, then these downers are definitely the way to go. Okay, what we'll do is we'll just strap on the brand new ones. Now you can see the difference, you know, it doesn't have the speed lace system on these black uniform ones. So it's like doing up normal shoes, you've just got to take your time to adjust them. Once they're adjusted, they, um, they feel and they look great. So just at a distance shot, just showing what the boot looks like. 
identical really to the desert ones apart from the speed lace system that they incorporate in the desert one. Now I'm a good seven, eight inches of water here. Feet are completely dry. Well, I hope you enjoyed the review on the uh, Danner Arcadia boot. As I say, they are a top quality boot, so if you're into um, you know, hiking, trekking, come from a military background, or you're in law enforcement or security, I definitely recommend checking these boots out. If you do uh, enjoy the review, um, please uh, comment online. Remember, Aussie Reviews under YouTube is my channel, and uh, please feel free to give me some feedback. Don't forget to subscribe too if you do want to see more actual Australian reviews with products that are available to us down here, then uh, please don't hesitate to subscribe.